Hi everyone, this is Ramesh from Informatica. This video is about to show you how to archive B2B DX events using command line. Um, so uh, the way we do archiving uh, for the DX events uh, uh, can be done it through two ways. One, you do it through a data archiving accelerator uh, which is using ILM and the other way is to do it through command line option. So uh, this video is about to do to show you how do you do it through a uh, command line option. So right here you see the syntax. Uh, there is an archive.sh script. This is a cell script um, which comes with the product itself. So when you install B2B DX uh, and if you go to your DX home directory under that there will be a directory called uh, DX dash tools. Um, if you go under that there will be a few scripts. One of one among them is uh, archive.sh script. Um, so using this script we provide some specific uh, some uh, arguments um, so one of the argument is specification.xml this file is basically tells the rules uh, based on which it has to decide which all events it need to be archived and purged uh, then you provide the username password and um, this is the username password for the DX um, and then you provide the host name and the port number of the DX server. So let me just go over and show you a quick demo and maybe it will make more sense. Things get, get clearer. So this is the DX console. Uh, in the event list I have um, around uh, 336 seven eight eight events right now um, in general scenario you could have many more hundreds but I just have uh, eight events and I'll show you how do you set the condition in the specification file and then based on that it cleans off or it archive and purge these events so if I, if you see here there is a few event calculated 10 11 12 till 12 23 and um, so the time now is 3 22 so um, I want to delete this uh, say uh, before uh, before 12 whichever events is there in the DX just remove those so or archive those so which mean it would mean that anything before 1 2 3 4 yeah so anything before four hours if I set the condition so these two events will get deleted right let me show you uh, a specification file where we set this condition so this is the DX home directory here under DX dash tools there will be there are a few bunch of uh, scripts here so one of them among them is the archive.sh and uh, this is the specification file which I've created so if I open it here this in this what we define is we set the conditions say for example the first block is about f a particular partner or account or the combination of both for whom for which partner I want to uh, we want to archive the events so you can basically see either all or you can mention the specific partner storage location is where the archive archival file will get stored um, event age is where you define the condition so for example I want to uh, clean up or archive the events older than four hours so what I'm going to set it here is say four hours and then archive event and the purge event is true so it will undo the archiving and the purge both and there is include bow log blobs which is set to false um, so the first block is for the partners accounts so either you can do it for all partners or we can specify um, um, or mention a specific partners the second block you see here is for the audit trail and system events same way we can set the storage location where it will do the archive 
um, you can set the event age so let me again change it here and make it say 4 hours anything older than 4 hours it's going to archive and do the purge and um, so on system events we I'm not um, archiving it because there's uh, no point in doing that and then purge yes I want to clean up the database uh, DX repository as well so let me save this one and um, let me get the command here so this is archive.sh a specification file then the this is the DX username password is this, this DX uh, console username password and then um, this is the server DX server and this is the port so let me copy it and uh, go to the Unix and let me run it so um, before that let me show you so here if I query in the database also the X deposit database I have like eight events so let's see after uh, archival and purge how many remains so just running it okay so it went through see event log for details so let me go back to uh, let me first uh, refresh this one and see how many are left now out of eight okay it shows that I have eight now right so anything this is modified so complete last status is this one so basically what happened is these two got modified at which because these two met the condition now so it says that archival results okay so let me go back here and uh, look for the DX events in the console and then okay so these two events got created now so when, when when I run the archival script right so it's going to create one for the two new events so if I open here and uh, select which event event so basically it says that there are two events for which it did the archiving um, successful event hierarchy again for two so you if you go to each of these you can see um, for you can see what it has done so basically if I go and uh, um, try to fetch everything so now I don't see the events which were for 11 o'clock right so I know so the number of events is still 8 the reason being it earlier there were 8 so it deleted 2 so which remains to 6 and then it created another 2 new events uh, which is uh, fine which is okay because this is how you will figure out whether which events um, got archived and which event got purged and uh, etc so um, this is for the system events and uh, this is for the archival role right so in my specification we had two conditions or two blocks right one for the system events and other for the archival role so now let's go ahead and uh, change the condition back again say I want to uh, clean up all the events which are for say um, till 12.23 right 12.23 so which means now uh, the time is say 3.30 so 12 so if I set it to uh, 3 hours so older than 3 hours that means it's going to clean anything before 12.30 which means all these uh, um, events you see which start, start time is uh, before 12.30 will get cleaned up right so let's go ahead and let me uh, change the condition now in this specification file 
and set the event age instead of say four hour I'm going to change it to say three hours and uh, 30 minute right three hours and uh, 30 minute same way again here and let me save it now so the idea is uh, so the, the thing is I want to so in total right now right here if you see uh, for the total number of events are 3, 3, 6, 8 now the condition is delete anything older than 3 and a half hours so now it's 3.30 so if I say prior to 3 hours that means all this uh, bottom six events is going to be archived and purged and two more events will get created and which is basically to show you and which all even so anytime you run the command and option to archive and do the purging you will have the events also getting created in the uh, DX for that particular action so okay now let me go ahead and rerun it again okay so now we go and uh, refresh our event list and see uh, let me just pull for all whoops what happened it's supposed to clean up these ones right 330 which means 3 hours 1 2 Oh, oh, I did a mistake. It should be just uh, 3 hours, not like 3 hours and 30 second, 30 minute. Sorry about that. Uh, so I go here and uh, change the condition back. So it should be just uh, 3 hours, not 3 hours, because if, if it's 3 hours 30 minute, that means it's going to delete anything older than 12, but most of these events are from 12, 10 or 12, 21. So let me just remove this condition, 0 minute. and same here so now it's going to delete anything older than 3 hours right run it again okay let me go and refresh this okay let's say fetch all okay so now we don't see anything of or any events from the 12 o'clock timestamp right and um, same way here also if I go and uh, refresh in the database I shouldn't be seeing the uh, events whose create time is 12 o'clock you don't see it here right so yeah that's pretty much I wanted to uh, cover over this uh, quick demo um, uh, one last thing so if I uh, go and uh, check uh, if the storage location to see if there are archive files are there right so my directory where I'm mentioned to copy this archival files is slash home slash rghs slash stamp which is this location and right here you see there is a archival folder which got created and um, So right here you see your archival files okay yep so that's pretty much um, I hope this is a little useful for you um, uh, we'd like to hear any feedback you can send it to support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com slash info support thank you thanks for watching